speedrunners, the multiplayer game where you've got to jump, swing, slide and shoot in order to avoid being eliminated and gain the ultimate victory. Oh yeah, and you know, running's uh, pretty important too. Anyway, I love this game, it's on PC and there's a lot of fun to be had. So let me show you what the gameplay is like. Yeah, there's a lot of waiting in this game. <coughs> Wait, Tamagyo, that's the Y button as in Y on the Xbox controller. You told us you were playing on PC, you... You lying son of a bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Allow me to explain myself. <gasps> so I'm playing with my PS3 controller disguised as an Xbox controller using a program called Motion Joint connected to my laptop via Bluetooth USB. So triangle is Y, circle is B, X is A, and square is X. Get it? No? No? Oh, right. Okay, so I finally get into a game and the mode Speed Hookers is chosen, which means that every single item box in the race will have a grappling hook. Probably the best and most annoying weapon in the entire game. So this should be pretty interesting. And we're off. So as you can see, I take a pretty nice lead before being caught up by this guy dressed in a chicken suit. What the fuck? Hardman takes a pretty early elimination, followed soon after by the cat, leaving just me and the chicken one on one. Oh yeah, also the game screen shrinks once someone gets eliminated because it's not like it's hard enough as it is, right? <laughs> So for a while I have a pretty nice lead on him, and then I'm just like, hey, you know what? You wanna win? Yeah, just take it man, I'll just go up here for no reason. Quickly after, I come to my senses and attempt to get back in the game, but then my internet connection's like, haha, nope. What? Okay, new game, new life. Let's do this. So the race starts, and gradually I begin to take a slight lead. All of the sudden, the chicken's like, Ah, oh, Tamago, you know you can't have happiness. And grapples me into last place. So I started putting all my focus into getting as much boost as possible, and eventually was able to get back in the lead. This is when the chicken decided he'd have another go at grappling me, this time at long distance. At which point I was like, No! <laughs> fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on... Well, you, you, you expired loaf of... Rice. You know what? Let's go back to the gameplay. Okay, so he manages to stay in the game, catch up to us, grapple me again, and win the race. <sighs> Alright, obviously this is the guy to beat. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? Scratch that. Wow. Now with each of us having two wins, this game could truly go to anyone. So Hardman, having forgotten that the point of a race is to, you know, win, starts running backwards and after realising his fatal mistake, tries to make it back, but unfortunately for him, it's too late. And I don't even know what the heck that cat was doing, I mean Jesus. This left just me and the chicken head to head once again, just like in the first race. So as you can see I attempt to grapple him and, whoa, I think I actually ended up worse off in that one. I begin to close the gap between us when he completely stops just to grapple me backwards as he takes the boost below and speeds on. Freaking strategy. So I get the boost, I jump, I duck, I jump and flip the switch in order to close off his path and win the race and the game. One great thing about speedrunners, you know, apart from how freaking awesome it is, is that it doesn't take long for the next game to start once you're in a party. We begin game number two in a new setting and the chicken decides that he's suddenly going to become the like messiah of speedrunners and proceeds to win all three games in a row. But there were some things which happened in that match that I'd like to talk about, such as why the hell, with this huge opening available for me that everyone else is smart enough to use, I attempt to go through this tiny little opening with spikes on it. Well I guess it's pretty obvious how that ended. The other thing is that why at this moment, with a fighting chance to beat the chicken, Hardman chooses to make the worst decision of his entire life. Just cut to the next race. Okay, so we're playing another map and all the weapons are available. So you can see the other weapons like the rocket, which, well, yeah. Then there's this drill thing and of course the grappling hook. Oh, come on. And then there's just this thing. It, is that a meatball? And oh yeah, these boxes too. I mean, they're not much of a weapon, more like a minor inconvenience if you ask me. Okay, so the chicken gets a win, I get a win. The cat rage quits, I win again. Dodge those minor inconveniences like a boss. Hardman wins and that leaves us here.
one more win for me and I win the entire game and things are already looking up for me as I take a pretty nice lead. I then pick up a weapon box and, oh of course, the bomb. I could tell you what it does but I'd rather just show you, so I'll just leave this here. I mean it'd be a shame if someone were to run into it. That leaves just me and Hardman and oh my goodness another one. After some strategic, strategic, str str after some carefully planned placement, I wait for him to enter the trap and... Ah, yeah! oh, speedrunners. It's a great game guys, you can check it out on Steam and I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this different style of video, I thought it might be interesting and so I'd really like to know your thoughts in the comment section. As always, you can check me out on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe if you're new here. Also I've created a Patreon page. Patreon's a website where you can support the creators you watch for pledging a certain amount of money to them, which can be as small as you like, each time they upload a video. For more info, just visit the link in the description box below, or click here to go to patreon.com slash tamago2474. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, come on.